Jean-Emmanuel. Jean-Emmanuel. Well, you know what, Alexis, time flies by like an arrow. So we've already handed in the small prototypes after the, uh, just before we had a short break. We have uh, 15 minutes left and we need to show how we can generate some text. Okay, so let's continue with our work of art. And let's introduce some text. Okay, so we have this brownish or, or orange part. Let's use it to make a comment. And let's say, for instance, let's put the price of this work of art and the signature of the artist. Okay, so if I want to... Uh, I'm coming back to the image of the different elements and the viewer. Stefan. Donc nous avons, donc nous allons, nous allons par ici. Et par ici, en fait, pour mettre un texte. So here, if you want to write a text, you want to define a font, and then use it as a, for a text to write a text element. So to define a font, it's quite easy. You need an if define an identifier. Okay, so coming back to the code of font. So that's a writing font. And we can choose the font that we're going to use for our text. I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to have used the default font. I define one font within set font and I decide that the script to which it will apply will be all the uh, scripts in the site. But in Frogan sites you can use lots of different writing systems. For it to work on most terminals we need the Frogan's player to be provided with a set of with a wide set of fonts covering the different scripts. And this is what is written at the end of the document. Here you have the fonts supported by FSDL 3.0. And all these fonts are available at all times in Frogan's Plan, whatever the version of Frogan's Plan. So you can go for it, because if you choose one font for Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, <coughs> you can use it, don't you worry, to whether it's installed at your users, because the font will be provided. Okay, and it's true for fonts, the player is not going to download any fonts from a remote server. All fonts which can be used in a Frogan site are on board. And that covers the entire panel of languages which can be used. Yes, and a selection was made with... Uh, fonts which are free of rights, so anyone can use them. And they were selected because they are diverse in shapes and because they allow using different international writing systems. So back to my font element. And I look at what's mandatory in order to draw something. So I have the script attribute. Okay, so this is something we've not studied yet. So we have the set something. So we are setting, we're defining something. And then you're defining a face which is font. Yeah, we had the same principle with the filter. We had the face which was uh, the set filter face. But the font element can only be positioned in the set font element. 
meaning that we can define different fonts for the same Frogan site. Slide. Yes, you can have different fonts and you can combine automatically in a text with different writing systems, you can combine different write different fonts. For instance, if you have a text in which you have both Chinese and French or Arabic and Greek language, you can use a font that supports both scripts, but you can also say, okay, I'd like to write in Arabic in with a font which is a specific font, but I'd like to position Greek uh, letters with a font which is specialized in Greek letters. But that's possible. Okay, it would take a bit of time, so I won't do it right now, but you can test it, and you'll see that you can use various fonts, various font elements successively, in order to say that this font 1112200R is uh, Arabic language and this one is for another script. And this combination then makes it possible to publish texts in a very simple way because we no longer have to worry about the text once you type it in. The player is going to detect whether you're uh, writing in uh, Arabic, uh, Lat or with the Latin alphabet, etc. And the rendering will be strictly identical on all Frogan's players. So, let's have a res text, res text with res ID. So, very common way of doing things. You have an identifier, absolutely. So, size, a bit like res draw. 300, 200. Orientation. That's an important feature because uh, thanks to that you can write in all directions. So you have different horizontal and vertical directions. You can write in columns from top to bottom and that's quite interesting. So H for horizontal, TTB top to bottom, LTR left to right and V for vertical. <coughs> so that's to write in columns with um, scripts and writing systems that can be written in vertical manner like Japanese, Chinese. We can use this system in order to position the columns. Okay, then you need a font. Okay, then I need to reference a font, font ref. So I'm going to use set font one, which we just defined above. Alignment is optional, so we won't do that. And apparently it's sufficient for this element. And now I'm going to put the text. Uh, I'll put Jean-Emmanuel because you have uh, copyright for, for the color, at, le at least. I don't think anyone is going to dispute this. So, let's try this. So, apparently, I'm okay. So now I need to position this text. And that's the principle of the layers that we have again. So, Récupérer. Alors, pardon, je l'ai mis peut-être un petit peu haut. Je vais pour qu'il soit au-dessus de tout le monde. Je descends un petit peu tout ce bloc là. I take this block. I move it down. So I'm. I just want to make it clear that I'm being quick here. So the the resources I define, I just put them on top of the layer. This is not something you must do. You can organize your code by defining the prepared resources at the top and then you put the layers at the bottom of the document. No, what's important is that the resource is defined before the layer in which it is used. Yes, that's the important thing. Yes, you can't invoke a resource that would be defined at a later stage. So I don't know where it's going to be pos positioned, but uh, let's go and then we'll adjust. So I'm not going to have intersection, I'll have addition. 
And let's take a look at uh, what happened. Okay, Jean Emmanuel is here on my document, and Veronique is relieved. Donc on peut euh, effectivement euh, ajuster. So, then we can adjust. Ah, évidemment, euh, tout ce qu'on est en train de faire à la. So everything we are doing here by hand. I mean, this is not final. I'm just showing FFDL. Vous allez bien sûr avoir très bientôt dans l'écosystème. But very soon in the ecosystems, you'll have people who will add software on top of that to provide EasyWig uh, authors tool but as you can see there is a great relationship between the code and what you have in terms of organization and the authors tools that will come on top of the FFDL language in order for you to be able to move Jean Emmanuel uh, directly instead of doing it by hand they will come up very quickly okay so I'm going to I moved it, but too far to the left. So, Jean-Emmanuel, do you really want me to find you? Because it's going to take a bit of time. And you're centered. Okay, that's why. Okay, it would take me a few more iterations, but... Uh, Et si vous essayez de, est-ce que vous pouvez Je intégrer? Je suis ouvert à toutes les suggestions. Um, I accept any suggestion. Alors, could you have my name across the entire canvas instead of sticking it at the bottom left? Okay, I knew you would be. Could you cut it out? This is what you wanted. Okay. So I don't need to position your name in the right place because as it's cut out, we can all see it. So it saves time. Perfect. And if Jean-Emmanuel is not big enough. No, that's true. That's something I feel very often. Okay, so you can increase the size of Jean-Emmanuel. Whilst increasing the size of the resource itself because otherwise you're a bit limited. So... What's interesting for the international development of the site, you can write with different writing systems in different scripts by adapting the font, obviously, so you need to uh, understand what the font supports. And then you can work on effects around the font itself. So as you can see here, we have a definition of the font, and you have many facts on the space between the letters, on the height, uh, and the italic, underline, bold characters, and introduce opacity in the text. So, for instance, if you want, if you think that this font is not uh, high enough, you or bold enough, you can add artificial bold so simply by adding x, x bold. So all this can be used just by activating or deactivating various options.